Okay, so here we're going to be finding the volume of a cone and a pyramid. Hopefully you notice that these two shapes have something in common. They have a base and they have a point that it meets up at, which we call the apex. So for shapes like this, the, the formula we use is one third the area of the base times the height. So first things first, let's go ahead and find the volume of a cone because that's what they ask for you here. Notice they are asking you to keep it in terms of pi. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So here I'm going to go ahead and do area. I like to think of it as the area of the base times the height divided by three because that's what a third means. You take, you take your um, value and you divide it by three. So here, what's the area of the base? Well, for a cone, the base is a circle. So I'm going to write it as pi r squared times the height divided by 3. So here, I'm going to have to figure out what the radius is and what the height is. Here, the radius is 6. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in x, a 6 for radius. So we have pi 6 squared times height. The height is 18, so I'm going to put 18 in and then divide by 3. Here, before you multiply, you always want to double check to see if you can cross cancel. Here, the 8, the 3 and the 18 have a 3 in common, so I'm going to go ahead and cross cancel. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this is going to leave me with pi times 6 times 6 for 6 squared times another 6, which is going to give me an answer of 216 pi. So go ahead and type that in as an answer. Notice there is no pi in the form of our answer, so I need actually need to make sure I type that in. So now let's move over to the uh, pyramid. So here we're going to use the same formula. We're going to do the uh, one-third volume one-third the area of the base times the height. Except for this case, you're going to notice that the area of the base is not a circle. In this case, it's a square because they're the same length. So I'm going to go ahead and put volume equals area of the base times the height divided by 3. But we know in this case that the base is a square. So that's just base times height. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that right now. We're going to do 14 times 14 to find the area of that square. Multiply it by the height. In this case, the pyramid is 24 units long. So I'm going to multiply it by 24. And then divide by 3. Once more, before you multiply these numbers out completely, you just want to double check to see if you can cross cancel. In this case, you can. Both 3 and 24 have a 3 in common. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Now it's just a matter of multiplying straight across. You're going to be left with, well, let's see, 14 times 14 is going to be 196 times 8 is 1,568. So notice here, there is no pi. So please don't write pi in your answer because um, the area of the square is just 14 times 14. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in 1,568. So notice once more, you're not putting pi. I noticed a lot of my students have a tendency to do that because they did it in the previous problem. So here, just submit your answer. And green means it's correct. If it's red, please make sure again that you are writing the correct um, things, such as making sure you include pi and things like that.